Hey, if you enjoy what I do, please drop a like on the video, sub, click the bell if you want to, not necessary, and drop a comment if you want to give me feedback. I'm doing it like this because I'm pretty bad at selling out when I'm recording videos. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you there. This is either going to be one of my longer videos or one of my shorter videos. This servant needs buffs aren't going to do anything with this guy. They're not. He needs a full on rework. Because spoiler alert, there is a servant that literally has all of his skills as one skill. Other spoil warning, he's coming out very, very soon. So why the fuck? Why the fuck does this servant still like have skills that don't get into it? Base attack low. Uh, actually, probably closer to average uh, for a three star. HP. Uh, again, maybe average for a three star. I, I, again, I don't know. Especially HP value. HP value, I'm not knowing off the top of my head. Star weight, star gen, caster numbers, MP charge. Hey, at least his hit. Okay. So again, it's not his base hit that everyone has a problem with. These numbers, these hit counts, they look okay. They look year one. Yeah. Like four hit extra attack, better than like some of the other servants. Two hits on the quick and arts. Okay, at least at least his gain is higher than a lot of the other servants that have the two arts card hits. By 0.1%, that might not sound like a lot, but it is. Like the difference between Valkyrie, the the difference between the Valkyries refunding MP and Tamamo. Uh, no, no, uh, I don't think Valkyries have fully hit uh, or that high hits on arts cards anymore. Um. But yeah, this, all this does not need to be fixed. This is fine how it is. <sighs> mana burst, mana burst, mana burst. Okay, so here's the problem. Arts MP. So this one technically could be fine. They don't need to change this because you can actually do it. Look, it's a damaging MP. We're not going to go fully go into it yet. This is the one that doesn't need to be changed because it's an art that you can do an arts brave chain. 50% quick damage for one quick card with two hits on it. Are you kidding me? He is a year one servant. Why? Why? This at least I get because he has two buster cards. Like you could say like, oh, oh design for QAB way before QAB was a thing. He only gets that one time every five turns. Six, six for most people since you're not probably not railing the G-Man, unless you're one of those mad lads. Like, this, uh, these two need to be targetable. Preferably all of them need to be targetable, but at least this one, because this does almost nothing for him. This one kind of understand, no, but still. And then, like, overnight he gets better no like that's now he's esports now he would be better in esports with uh, having this these two like target or hell any sort like if you, even if they make this like targetable it's still it still probably be better because then like you like cycle him in pop 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 now whoever you brought in has a rainbow buff and like mana burst for a turn. I'm not saying make these three turn. God no, am I not saying make these three turn. It's either you make them targetable or you make them three turn. Preferably targetable. 
and then you don't have to buff them. Then you don't have to buff all the skills. You do it like Waver, and how he just like got his skills fixed. They didn't need to buff every single skill. Arts buff, territory creation, buff success rate, PMP. Do, do whatever you want here. It's three stars, you can level them, whatever you want. Okay, MP. Definitely been buffed. This is definitely old. Yes, yes, it is. Should be very, very old. So they only buff the damage. Yeah. But they buffed it. Oh no, they fixed his modifier. His modifier was gimped and then they fixed it. Yeah. Yeah, like this is a gimp modifier. Uh, but it does do sending me attack uh, crit chance. So you are not bringing him to do three turn farming. Unless you are like really trying to mean. Full party heal, base 1000, and debuff resistance. This is nothing, this is something. Like throw on an OC, uh, something, and then you can get like 40% debuff res for three turns. I mean, it's not nothing, but it's just a lot of hoops you have to jump through. And, and again, this is this is a good CE. This is definitely a good pawn CE. Party wide MP gen 15%. That's not bad. It's just Get a premium Geronimo. Like, really? For this? Like, there are some servants that are beyond saving. He is not one of those servants, but he might be. Because lasagna doesn't want to like fix him you should love definitely get, level him but unless you're one of the mad lads that 120 their g-man they're probably he's probably not even gonna see use there are, there are other servants that see use like phantom of the opera phantom of the opera actually has a very good presence now because of the six nodes, um, like the six enemy nodes, and Tai Sui, someone that literally can curse meme someone to death more than I have ever seen before. And he's in a six uh, enemy setup with a lot of trash mods. I've never seen like curse memes like this, uh, and I saw this last night. Geronimo, he needs. He needs direction. He need like they need to do one buff and pick where they're going with, and then eventually buff them, buff the rest of it, if that if they want to go that route for like the next two years. They have to choose a direction because the servant is no one uses him. Liter there's no reason to use him. He doesn't. The only thing he can provide is this, but other servants can do that on skills. All right. I talked about Geronimo like before I recorded Meb because um see ya.